This is a story from the time of the Persian Wars. After hearing that the Persians were invading, the Athenians wanted to ask the Spartans for help. The weather was not good for sailing and the mountain road too stony for horses, so it was decided that a runner would deliver the message. The Athenian champion Pheidippides was summoned from the gymnasium where he was busy training for the Olympic Games and he was handed the mission of delivering the message to the Spartans. Pheidippides took a bag of coins and a woolen cloak and ran through the mountains and along the coast. He kept running, rarely stopping to sleep or drink. After running for so long, Pheidippides grew weary and he began to believe that he may die there on the mountainside, to be eaten by wolves and vultures. Pheidippides prayed to the gods. He became aware that someone was running alongside him, keeping pace with him. He could hear the trotting of hooves and saw a horn. Pheidippides had prayed to the god Pan and he had appeared to encourage him to continue. Pheidippides continued down the mountain, passing a goat on the way. Finally, he reached the city after running 150 miles in two days. An ancient law, however, prevented the Spartans from performing any new business before the full moon. The full moon was another five days away and it would take the Spartans a further five days to travel. The Persians would be in Athens within a day and Pheidippides running would have been for nothing. The Spartans refused to change their customs, and with a heavy heart, Pheidippides thought of home and his struggle to relay the message. He reflected on his years of training, and knew in that moment he would never run at Olympia and be remembered as a victorious athlete. However, the famous ancient Greek historian Herodotus recorded his run and his meeting with Pan in the mountains. This is how we know his story, and why Pheidippides is one of the most famous athletes of the ancient world. But his story isn't quite over. Pheidippides ran back beyond Athens to fight at the Battle of Marathon. Then he ran back to Athens to give news of victory. The Athenians, the Greeks, had won. And so, you see, it is the story of Pheidippides, preserved by the historian Herodotus, that is the reason we call an arduous task or a long run, such as the modern Olympic event, running 26.22 miles, or indeed, an event such as the Great North Run, running half that distance, a marathon, or a half marathon.